Hey you guys, how's it going? This is my blue iguana. I've had him about eight months now. Got him at Petco of all places. He's super cool. Got him here isolated from the others because they're now getting big enough to where they're territory, territorial. And so he's his right arm was hurt for a little while, but he's getting better and he's eating. Now this enclosure isn't his normal enclosure. I normally have him outside, but it is mid-November. <clears throat> Here in South Louisiana, it gets a little cooler. So this is a little winter hangout. I don't have a name for him yet. I just wanted to get him a little older to, to be sure he's a male. But I'm pretty sure he's a male because he was fighting with my other male, Red, that I have. <clears throat> Just an old display case that I kind of reformed into a nice little habitat for him. Something simple. Like I said, these are just the winter corners, winter quarters for my reptiles. My Iggy's enjoy the outside. Here I have some newcomers. They just came in. I got a group of five of three different morphs. See this little green one here and this green one there? Those are double head for albino. Colombian albino and Salvador albino. And what the guy did was took each albino of the different strains and bred them and they come out with all visual greens, but they both hold the, the recessive gene for albino for each, for the Colombian and the, the Salvador. So that's pretty cool. I can't wait for them to get old enough and I can have a little fun with that. I think the chances of albino, either one is like one in 16. But those are just odds. Those are just kind of a probability with your pundit square. Back here is a red that I got along with another red back here. And they were uh, red on red crosses. These are the offspring, so it's the F1. They still have a lot of green in them. Uh, it's hard. Sorry for the pics, guys. I don't have a fancy camera. This is my iPad. But this, I just clean this thing and they go to town in here. But it's simple, like I said. I'm just, I just got these, so I'm kind of watching them. My favorite is this guy. Just got him in with the other four. This is the Colombian albino Iggy Iggy. Just relaxing. He's doing good. I was worried at first. I had him in with the others, so I separated him. And but looks like he's going to do good. He's eating every day. He's starting to shed. He's pooping. That's why I use these white paper towels. A substrate, easy to clean, easy to observe. And I just got him a little bit of water there. Now, I do notice, you know, as they've said this before with the albinos, they'll have visual problems. And he definitely doesn't have the greatest eyesight, if any. I, I wouldn't know if he doesn't have any, but I know he has trouble seeing stuff. Just the way he, he reaches out for stuff that's not there, he, he kind of goes crazy. Which I've noticed that with other albinos, too. I've seen them in person, and they, they kind of just reach out aimlessly as if they, they don't really see all that well but you know they seem to be doing fine I gotta hurry up because five minutes is about up and that's all YouTube allows so far until I get big but make sure subscribe to my channels but these are my reds these are your normal reds that you get at the pet store oh sorry buddy and these guys I got last year really small and they've grown up to be really big bigger and hopefully y'all enjoyed this video uh, i'll make more my big cage i'll talk about cages in the next video thanks